This is 1506 Jet, bringing you a review of the Sennheiser HD 558 headphones. The Sennheiser HD 558 headphones are an audiophile grade headphone from the Sennheiser's HD 5 blank 8 line. These headphones focus on a wide soundstage, treble, and, a, and good lows, mids, and highs. First off, let's start with the technical specs. The Sennheiser HD 558s have 50mm drivers that have a large frequency response of about 15Hz to 28,000Hz. The human ear can hear 20Hz to 20,000Hz, so these headphones can reach way beyond what we can hear. These headphones have a 50 ohm impedance, meaning that they can be powered by iPods or other MP3 devices. Though, if you want to get the full potential out of them, you have to plug them into a headphone amp or a computer with a good sound card. These headphones reach 112 decibels, which is, the average for, which is average for a headset of this price. The exterior of the headphones has a hard plastic. It's not cheap looking, so it's pretty durable. It would take uh, throwing it at the ground to break it. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, as you can see, there's the Sennheiser logo at the top. Um, there's the left and right ear here. Here's the ear cup. It's made of velour. It's soft and it doesn't get hot if you wear it for a long time. Um, here's the adjusters, anywhere from I think one to ten clicks on both sides. Uh, there's the headband, soft, plushy. Um, they collect a lot of dust though, so if you just rub it off with your finger like this, it's easy. Or you can take them off. I don't trust myself to take them off, but you can. And I think you put it in the wash or something. Um, the cable, it's thick, tangle-free. Um, it's three meters long with a uh, six point five millimeter uh, jack, but it does come with an adapter if you want to plug it into your iPods and MP3 players. Uh, the length of the cable is great if you uh, have a home theater system that you like to watch movies on. But if you're just listening to music like me, um, it gets really annoying. But that's why I use the uh, twist tie that comes with the uh, in the box. It just keeps it tidy so that it doesn't get in your way. These headphones have a open circumural design, which makes it uh, so better airflow within the capsule. So this does improve the uh, sound field in your music, but does make it so everybody hears uh, a tiny version of what you're listening to. I think these Sennheiser's biggest strengths is their sound quality. They are great with all kinds of music, especially classical, jazz, and instrumental. They aren't the best with rap, but only because the Sennheiser's have a punchy, tight bass as opposed to a boomy bass. It all depends on personal preference, though. They have great mids and highs, as well as an outstanding treble. These headphones can also be quite loud. I'm going to put a song on to show you. Even though you can't hear the sound quality, I'll show you anyway. Also, if you notice, there's no distortion in the sound quality, even when it's at max volume. Sounds awesome here, but... <laughs> Okay, that's good. <laughs> the sound field on this pair of headphones is amazing. I can hear where different instruments are being played from. These are great for gaming because in shooters, for example, you can hear if an opponent is nearby or sneaking up on you. Overall, the quality of the sound reaches way beyond what I expected. The Sennheiser HD 558s are an incredibly versatile headset. Whether you're listening to some tunes or playing games, this headphone is sure to impress. With outstanding mids and highs, as well as treble and sound field, I couldn't have asked for more from Sennheiser. Though they have a few minor problems, such as a long cable and a bulky ear cup, I can't complain. I would highly recommend the Sennheiser HD 558s. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment section and I'll try to answer. Last of all, thanks for watching and see you later.